just uh, wanted to share how to wrap presents. If you don't know how to wrap, very easy. <laughs> I don't ever measure, but you can measure. Measuring is better, but. So we're going to do just a box. This is a uh, laser level pro. We're gonna wrap it. Just want to make sure that it will cover the entire package. Once you do that, what I do is I fold, you can't see. Okay, I fold one in to give it a straight edge. Always do that. Plus, it makes the package look better um, when it does have a straight edge. And so then I just want to crease my box. You can see, crease the box there. And then you pull this over, and that's where you're going to tape. And I always use a tape dispenser. Handy dandy. Helps get it at any office supply or Walmart or wherever. Um, and then I take my box. And I don't ever tape the first one that I do. So I will fold these over. And I'll set it down. And I'll do the other side first. And the reason I do that is so I can get it nice and tight. So I'm going to fold the flip. The flap. Pull this over now you can tape right here or you want to make it look extra special you can actually fold it over for a straight edge right there and that's where you're going to put your tape right across there and then flip it back over now you can see why i did that it's because i wanted my paper folded but i want the package to be pretty tight so now i'm going to crease these sides i just fold, folded them in and it creates flaps and then, of course, I did the other side. I'm going to fold this one also. And it just makes it look really nice and tight. Um, pretty packaging for any gift or the special gift. So, you basically have your package completely wrapped. And then what I do is I love tool. If you don't have tool, it's very inexpensive ribbon. I just pull some out. Now, what I do is I go across the top of the gift flip it over, do a half a knot, and then flip it back over and come around the front. And when you come around the front, you just tie your knot just like this. Lots of jokes out there, nobody can open my presents, but it's not true. They're, they open them every year. So I cut this right here, and I take these, and I just put them right there and tie a knot, and it makes a beautiful little bow without having to be a florist or trying to fight with wire and all kinds of ribbon and stuff. Tool is really cool. Um, now you can take that, just kind of fluff the tool, and you have a beautiful little package that's ready to be open for Christmas. And you can move these, you can move it up, you can move it down, wherever you want your bow to be. I usually like them in the center, just cause I usually like them in the center, unless it's a tall box, I have a tall box right here that I have the bow, the tool bow actually up high because I was putting other presents. And I'll just let you know, these bags right here are really cool. If you shop at the Buckle, um, which every year for the men in my family, I get them the Saks underwear, which is absolutely fabulous. They all love them. And it's just a one time a year gift. But if you shop at the Buckle this year, 2019, they didn't have them last year or the year before, they have these Santa bags, and I absolutely love them. So, I tried to get away with getting enough for everyone, but obviously I couldn't say, hey, I need 20 bags. But these are so cute. Um, and what I did is I put the gifts that I've wrapped inside the Santa bag. So, you can see I have quite a few Santa bags here. Those are from the Buckle. Um, they're free. You make a purchase, and they give it to you for the wrapping. And what I'm doing is just putting everyone's gifts in a Santa bag, and that way it's ready to go. Whether they're coming to my house and they get a Santa bag, or um, this is my son-in-law's, or if um, I'm going, I'll just grab everybody's bag that the house we're going to. Very easy, very nice, and I just, I absolutely love these. Like I said, go to the buckle, buy something, get a bag. Um, obviously, while supplies last, because I don't know how long they'll have them. I know that they've run out of the ribbon before, 
Last year and the year before, um, I would love going because when I wrap my presents, I do put bows on them, and I loved their ribbon. It was this color here. It was a thick ribbon with a bow. Very easy to use. I actually have some left over in a drawer that I'll probably use on this year's Christmas gifts. So, the buckle is awesome. I love the Santa bags. I love them. Love them, love them. And I got them when I was going there to get something I was going to get anyway. Um, so, this is the uh, wrapping paper that I used on this small gift. And the laser level that I got, I purchased at Stage. And then the gift wrap, I did purchase at Joanne Fabrics. And it's really nice. They had it on... 60% off. I think it was $1.90 a roll. It was very inexpensive. So I just hold on to my paper. Um, I do have a theme this year with my paper. Uh, as you can see, we have some trees and everything up already. Um, but my shopping's almost done. But I just wanted to go over how to wrap a present and just show you what I've got going on. Um, hope you love my Joan Jet pants. Um, most of the kids don't know who Joan Jett is, and they said that uh, looked like Beetlejuice pants, so that was funny. Have a great day. Happy holidays. God bless.